welcome Aquarius to my channel Rainbow Wizard Tarot. Today I'll be doing a love reading for the middle of April for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Please keep in mind it is a general reading, take what resonates with you, leave the rest. You can also check out other signs in your chart such as Moon, Venus and Rising signs for additional love messages. And uh, thank you to all of you that have already subscribed to my channel, that are viewing my channel and welcome to all of you New Year's. I'm sending you so much love and I greatly appreciate you all so very much. So uh, Aquarius, uh, let's do see what uh, does the uh, middle of April have in store for you in the matters of love. The moon. There could be a, a period of, of silence, um, some truths are, are about to be revealed, some truth about someone's emotions are about to come forward here with the moon card, maybe you are dealing with the Pisces. Uh, this is somebody that um, you have completed the cycle with in the past and um, basically they want this new cycle with you, it could be someone that lives on a distance. Somebody's obsessively watching you online with a page of swords. They are stalking you, spying on you, waiting for you to launch your next post, to like it, to have a reason to contact you. This is somebody that is watching your post, your social media, any information they can get about you like a hawk, Aquarius. Aquarius, you could at the moment have uh, offers around you. Perhaps you are engaging, um, you know, going for dates or starting to perhaps online dating or catching up with uh, people from the past that are, have taken an interest in you. You're not seeing this offer that is behind you that could come out of the blue in the middle of, uh, of April because you're just minding your business. You're kind of uh, just uh, having a good time. Um, yeah, just uh, it, it seems that you're in a very light and content period of, of, of your life at the moment in regards to, to your love life. Um, your person is somebody that could have been giving to two people. This person, you could feel breadcrumbed by this person. But now this person here, they want to come in, back into your life for a new cycle and have this equal give and take with you. And uh, it's going to happen very, very fast. It's going to be a, a, some good news coming from them about some truth, a secret being revealed that is going to be a positive news. But there is a, this person could also still be deceitful. There could be deceits happening regards to them in the past. They could have ghosted you. You have a concern that this will happen again. So it's more coming up as the negative regard in, in, in regards to this connection. And um, they are very much hoping <laughs> when they come in with this positive news, revealing secrets about something to do with their emotions, Aquarius, they are hoping and praying that you would like to take a leap of faith. You could be dealing with an Aries. They are, they want to take a leap of faith towards you. They want, they basically want to start this brand new beginning. This is somebody that could have just uh, cut loose baggage, uh, toxic uh, third parties, anything, but this is somebody that wants to come in with a clean slate. They are aware of the deceit in the past and that is also worrying them. Now, uh, in terms of, there is a, they are fearing that um, you will reject their offer when they come in. That's their fear. So they're threading very carefully here. That's why they're stalking you, observing anything you do online to ensure when they do come forward with this offer, this message about, uh, this message they have planned is, is more to do with reconnecting, and they're wanting a new beginning. It will not be a message of, uh, you know, too much emotions, but it's, it's, they're planning to give a message of indicating they want to start something new with you. They want, will be talking about meeting up. They'll be talking about next time they will call you. They'll be more persistent around you, this person from the past. And, uh, they, they really want to work on this connection with you, Aquarius. They, um, they, they, you are, they are stuck on you and they want to keep working on this connection. They want to get back in your good grace after the deceit in the past. But yeah, it's uh, something that is to be avoided is, it could be in regards to a third party situation and it comes back to them here about perhaps giving to two people. So this this is what needs to be avoided in this connection. So it's the deceit and, and, the, and the third party. It's quite obvious uh, that this is something, a lifestyle, a, a way they have to let go of. And um, 
in terms of so they this is someone now that is um you know trying to improve themselves they're trying to um focus on their work um you could be doing the same so it's, a, it's, it's two people here also that are taking some time out to improve themselves working on themselves working on their business very much so perhaps that's why it's also been little to no communication and uh, there is um also like you know you, you both are feeling very content you aquarius are um they see you as someone that has everything they put you on a pedestal they see you as someone that is wealthy healthy glowing so they do feel um they might not have so much to offer for you because i see them here appearing as a knight and a page this could be an age difference between you two just an immaturity you are uh, much more evolved than this person it could be again like uh, maybe it's even someone that you think that you could never really even settle down with. There's a big difference in in um, you you as people, like completely different caliber here. But uh, it's some you are still very much connected, and it's something coming in here about a new beginning. And um, there there are in in their environment. It could be in yours, Aquarius. There are some toxic. It could be a third party friends that are intervening in this connection uh, it's like some temptations in this person's life um maybe they're dealing with a capricorn maybe you are dealing with a capricorn but this is uh, somebody that is it could be having addiction problems they're very obsessive there's something toxic lurking in their environment but um <clears throat> they, they what, what they are hiding from you is that they want to reveal these deeper feelings for you <clears throat> they have a lot of emotions for you they have a lot of romantic feelings for you they want to express towards you aquarius because they cannot let you go you could be dealing with uh, a water sign Aqu uh, sorry pisces scorpio cancer so what they want with you <laughs> after all that it's a high level of commitment. Um, they see you as someone they can learn from. They look up to you. They really put you on a pedestal. You could be dealing with the Taurus. <clears throat> so they are very, very much admiring you. It's like, um, yeah, they are very stuck on you and you can see that from their obsessiveness. This could be someone that has manipulative ways. They are trying to manifest you back. They are, seem to be working on themselves, but there is something about a toxic environment around this person. The Empress, yeah, not a surprise, Aquarius. They really put you on a pedestal. They, they also want to give birth to a new kind of cycle here with you and them. They, you are like no other they have met. You, have a, you are just always going to have a special place in their heart, Aquarius. Wow, you could be dealing this with a twin here with a twin flame. That is why they cannot let you go, why you cannot let them go. They all they dream of and fantasize of is to get another opportunity with you to get together into this harmony, this bliss that you once have and create more uh, beautiful memories with you. This is somebody that sees you as a higher level of commitment, that sees you as the one they want to marry. One of you here could be there, it could be a, a sea strong third party, so it could be here with a devil energy. There's an ending on their side in regards to a third party, whether someone left them or them. They, it's a toxic situation here that is dissolving. Um, <clears throat> and, and this person here will be going through a complete transformation. It's a dead to, death to a relationship, to an ego, but it's going to be a complete ending and a new beginning. We're here with a world card and a death card. You could be dealing with them. Um, with a scorpio there will be a getting together a beautiful blissful getting together with you two you will be reconnecting on the soul level it could be some drinks are flowing you're getting together it's some it's very dreamy um state around you two it's very very beautiful and uh that's that's what's keeping them going but definitely they are dealing with a, a toxic situation they are moving away from whether it's a lifestyle a third party i see most likely here but let's do clarify uh, a bit more what's happening on their side Aquarius so <clears throat> now please get um, messages for Aquarius persons what are their feelings actions thoughts wishes for the beginning of April for Aquarius okay so your person and this is somebody here it, it's a there's something to do with a third party situation in, in their side um, that is just there. But there you are, Aquarius. 
it's you that <clears throat> sorry it's you they are in love with it's you are it's like you have given them a new it's like a, a breath of fresh air something they have never experienced for a dream that they want to come true they're looking at you as a star they really are mesmerized by your beauty they're mes mesmerized by everything you do it's like they're completely stuck with you they know that with that with they had so many chances with you aquarius nine chances could go over nine months it's a long period of time could be longer this is uh, someone that has a lot of chance but they never managed to get it off the ground still you are the dreams hopes aquarius with the empress i mean this is somebody that is just obsessively watching you online and they're probably taking screenshots of every picture you have whether it's on instagram facebook or any pictures you have together anything <clears throat> they have probably it's almost sounding as crazy as they have a little room where everything is printed up on the wall and they are mesmerized by you still this person is not elaborating or speaking up about their feelings their secrets you know very little about this person not as much as they know about you that's for sure <laughs> perhaps you are more online than that they are they are viewing you as their soulmate they are stuck on you and this person perhaps never appreciated this connection when they got together they thought let's go out and live my life this could be someone that's quite immature let's go out and just you know aquarius will just go away kind of thing because they are they are part there's a toxic environment around them so this person could be young likes to party likes to go out and just never really um, you know again i think we all changes through our life whether it's on the 20s 30s and, and 40s certainly so and that is good so you could be maybe you're dealing with someone that was in their 20s or early 30s or so someone that is just their lifestyle but they didn't expect to fall in love with you they didn't expect this connection they didn't expect to to view you in this light i mean they're really putting you on a pedestal and uh, the, a tower is going to come crashing down on their side in the middle of april there's a huge because they have they have all those feelings for you and uh, this is someone that will they will sneak out to come towards you because they cannot kind of live without you aquarius this is somebody is madly in love with you and uh, wow we have the ace of wands oh that is exciting yes well they are 100 percent, thousand percent in love with you they have been denying for themselves this soulmate union you're on your side of craze i think you have awakened to the soulmate union for a long time whilst at the moment you are more you know you're just kind of withdrawing a bit and uh and on your side because we have this you're kind of looking into the market what's there <clears throat> because of this person taking their sweet time and perhaps you have also moved forward emotionally here aquarius perhaps you're just you know letting them go but this person is not letting you go this person i mean there's a major tower moment and here with the ace of wands this person here is obsessed with this new beginning oh my gosh so we have the four once again i mean a twin flame union is screaming twin flame union wow i mean this person is have all these feelings for you bottled up i don't think they're telling anyone in their surroundings it's all in their head i think if they told someone they due to this toxic environment they'll tell them to let you go you are from two different worlds you are completely from two different worlds and this is like a connection it's like chalk and cheese that if you told even your family you settle down with them or friends even because they know their reputation or what they've done to you or what they haven't done to you there will be like you can do so much better but this person here they are i mean with a soulmate card the ace of wands this person is not stopping but this person is strategic now very strategic everything they do it's like uh the work of a detective sherlock holmes themselves so <laughs> they are really slow so you have no idea and as i'm telling you now <laughs> that this going on behind the scenes aquarius and uh, <clears throat> this is somebody that's connected to you they met you in the past uh, six months six years and you connected on a soul level they feel very playful and happy when they're around you like no other they haven't revealed this side of their personality to anyone because it's not who they are this could be someone that always keeps up a mask they have this way maybe there's someone is from a smaller community and they are just you know acting like the casanova in their community and they're just you know they they are not meant to 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 fall in love with you but they did uh, and they feel there's a past life connection you could be dealing with an, a, an sagittarius they're coming in they want to restore a balance but they find it all all this and they're finding it as a burden because they are not coming forward yet they're not revealing their feelings to you again they with their, with their knight of cups and someone's staring it want to do it but don't want to do it so 
something is holding this person back and I see it's going to do with the toxic environment and they are going to sneak out because they, I mean, they're, they're the power of this. They've got a wake up call that it's so powerful, this connection they have with you that not, you know, 10 wild horses going to keep them away from this connection. But at the same time, this person's anxious. They're losing sleep. This person could be dealing with a divorce as well. The tower is crashing down. Wow, but they're coming, they're doing all this because they want this happily ever after with you. Wow. <laughs> and this person is working. Perhaps there's some, someone here that hasn't got um, the greatest of finances. This is somebody that has to put in very, very, very hard labor to, to get, uh, you know, rewards. But wow, I mean, and you couldn't have. So this person here is, they see you as a happily ever after, their wish fulfillment. You are like their queen, their goddess, their everything. But yeah, they're taking their sweet time and they're not expressing to you how they feel at the moment. But they will because this uh, powerful emotions and feelings they have for this connection, they are, they will not have a choice in the end, but to come forward, but to come forward and reveal those feelings and their plans. Wow, very exciting, Aquarius. Very, very, very exciting indeed. So, Aquarius, what are your feelings for your person? What are your feelings for your person? You are definitely in a good place. You have admirers around you, that's for sure, in April. Aquarius, what are your feelings for this person? Aquarius, so, uh, yeah, so you... There, there's something that's going to happen very fast. You you will be, there's, there's about the, a passion communication is going to take place. You're dealing with someone on a distance. You see them as toxic, uh, their ways. You could be thinking of a Capricorn as well, but there's still a lot of passion. You feel there are secrets and fears around approaching them. Aquarius, you will also have a, a abundance coming in to your surroundings, a lot of it in April. But you will only move forward with this person if the, this offer is solid. I mean, very, very solid. You feel it's a divine timing to reconnect with this person here. Um, you're thinking, for many of you, on a fire sign. You think of someone that has a bit of an ego, very charming, very fun. Uh, could be a bit selfish, but yeah, someone that is Aries, Sagittarius, um, or... Leo and the lovers, wow, you are going to make a choice in love as well, Aquarius. You could have two people around you, but there's one that your heart belongs to and it's very hard to cut them loose. You could be thinking of a Gemini. You are um, also, you are kind of very, very focused on uh, growing everything about to do with yourself, your health, your wealth, business in the month of, that's going to take up most of your time, but you want this new beginning with this person when they come in. You are very much in a powerful, powerful energy. You are looked and feel as a goddess. You, you are looked, viewed as a goddess here. You are everything that you are giving birth to is flourishing. You have done a tremendous work on yourself, Aquarius. There you are. You are really coming up in your own energy as the queen of, a one, queen of swords. There will be a choice that you know is coming up as well in regards to an offer that's going to be proposed to you. You. you could be deciding to try a few dates you will be deciding to 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 explore a few opportunities here but you are fearful for this person here you are fearful of um, a third party secrets you are fearful of uh, a heartbreak uh, as well um, that is on your mind there is a and there I see there's two people also an earth sign Taurus it could be uh, Virgo, Capricorn, there's going to be a very something happening very, very, very fast. Aries energy. Somebody here is upgrading to a, an emperor. There's a new beginning. I see the fire sign is somewhere you have some someone you have a new beginning, or there's someone you're choosing for a new beginning. Somebody that broke your heart, somebody that it was spilled cups with. But you see this person as the ten of cups. You see this this is the person you're thinking of is living on a distance with you and this is this person here there was a cycle ending this is someone that also that you met in the past that you connected with this is you're thinking of someone that hurt you that deceited you in the past and you walked away you have healed you have healed from this connection here when they come in uh, for some of you you could be telling them the truth you could be t giving them you know the rundown 
um, a soul. But I see here, besides when this air is cleared between you two, they will you will be giving a new shot because both of you are stuck on each other now. Your environments, uh, friends, family, or anyone could maybe see that. Oh, uh, don't don't pursue this. But uh, the, you you two met for a reason. It seems that you two, when you get together, are on the same page and you are bringing out the best in each other because this is a soulmate union and it's also a twin flame union. Wow, with the four of ones, you will be taking a break out to to reflect when they come in. It could be taking very much by surprise with the high priestess you're keeping a lot of information and the thoughts and feelings to yourself you can be feeling a little bit trapped when they come in because at the moment Aquarius you have everything in your surroundings here but there's a person here that your heart belongs to that lives across an ocean and to, to come together with them there will be a change a big change so you're thinking is that the right timing but you are stuck on them. You see them as a twin flame. You see them as unfinished business. And there is a lot of passion. So I see you two reconnecting here. Very passionate soul. If nothing else, this will be beautiful memories created indeed by you two. I mean, this is a Cinderella story right here. And even if Cinderella story only lasts for a month, he wouldn't take it, right? <laughs> so, I mean, definitely beautiful, uh, beautiful, uh, you know, here messages of, of love um for for two people that are very much in love and a very strong soulmate twin flame union aquarius let's see what the romans angels can add to this reading so we have yeah you're questioning if it's safe for you to love you know that you deserve love. Uh, you have to keep an open mind with this situation. Yeah, it's going to be something about you two deciding to retreat and speak. There is an offer of new love for most of you here. I see that also there's a few people around you with the offers. There's going to be surprising new love offers. You are going to speak to your friends, uh, and and you know this chemistry between you two that's what pulls you back. There has been deception. It's clear. Uh, in, in this situation here but you are getting to know a new person or, or them there is a very 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 strong uh, attraction there is a separation here with you and this person at the moment I see here this person is going to release their ex from um, you know there's a choice being cut off the majority of the cards here is going towards you the connection they are going to take this gamble and they are going to open up to you in terms of a heart to heart conversation because I mean this is true love the, the romantic feelings here is like Romeo and Juliet when you two are together and there will be reconciliation again. There will definitely be reconciliation. Plans are reconciling. This is two people that has unfinished business that has undying love for each other. And regardless of the time, place and distance, it seems that is going to happen. Um, and um, let's give it a last message. So the butterfly, maybe you're dealing with someone born, the primal son of the butterfly, someone is very, very adventurous. This is a huge transformation going on in your life. And then this connection here with the butterfly, without a doubt, um, very, very strong uh, transformation happening. And uh, it's uh, you, it's like you're moving through different life cycles. It's going to be renewal, rebirth, also with the death card. It's going to be a lot of playfulness. Um, so it's, um, yeah, this I see is a reconnecting with someone from the past somebody you feel very playful and your souls are connecting with so um yeah aquarius these are the messages for you if it resonated please like subscribe and hit the notification bell and thank you for watching